Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming release of the Jordan 11 Space Jam Lows. So if you guys don't know any of the details surrounding the Jordan 11 or the Jordan 11 Space Jams, I'm just going to go over a couple details with you so you're, you know, filled in. Uh, the Jordan 11 Space Jams first had their own court debut in 1995 against uh, the team with Magic Johnson in it. The Space Jams didn't become legendary and didn't actually get their nickname, the Space Jams, until their, you know, big debut in 1996, the famous movie Space Jam, where obviously Michael Jordan wore them uh, in the final game against the Monsters. The colorway wasn't officially released, though, until the year 2000, so it was a player exclusive for five years. No, I mean, obviously the hype for five years building that up means that in the year 2000, they sold out instantly. I'm talking as soon as they came out, they were gone, man. They were absolutely sold out. Um, awesome shoe. Uh, we've had two retros of it. We've had one in 2009. So if you missed out in the year 2000 and you couldn't buy a single pair, you know, when they came out initially, you had to wait nine years until the next release. And again, if you missed out in 2000 and 2009, the next release would have been in 2016. And that's a full 16 years after they originally were debuted to the public. Now, out of the two retros, the retro that's the closest to the actual pair that Michael Jordan wore is the 2016 pair. It's the closest to the original. It has 45 on the back to mark when Michael Jordan came back wearing the 45 jersey instead of the 23 jersey. Um, I think that's, you know, better. I think I would much rather having the 45 on the back in order to commemorate, you know, him coming back instead of 23 because 23 was obviously before the period where he left and then when he left, he came back taking or donning the pair 45. So, yeah, 2016's um, pair is the closest to the original. A lot of people like the 2016 pair. I don't actually own a pair of the 2016 uh, Space Jam 11s, but I would love to own a pair eventually. And as I discussed right at the start of the video, on July 13th, we're getting a pair of the Space Jam Lows. So, yes, guys, as I said, July 13th, 170 US dollars, we are getting a pair of the Space Jam Lows. What are my thoughts on Jordan Brand deciding to do Space Jam Lows? Um, I think it's kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, the Space Jams have traditionally been a high top shoe. And turning them into Lows is an interesting move by Jordan Brand. Um, they do that for a lot of the iconic Jordan 11 colorways. They generally make them into Lows eventually. Whether or not I'm too keen on uh, the Lows for the Space Jams is another question, but um, personally I thought out of any Jordan colorway they could have done for Lowe's this year, they could have done potentially one of the retros instead of the Space Jams. I get that the Space Jam is one of the most iconic Jordans, let alone most iconic Jordan 11s. Um, I personally think that in honor of the Jordan 11 low, they could have done an, a Jordan 11 low retro instead of just grabbing an iconic Jordan 11 colorway and then making it a low, you know? Like, they could have just retroed a colorway that's very iconic, um, hasn't had a retro in years, and done that instead of just picking the most iconic, uh, the most iconic Jordan 11 and being like, let's make it into a low. They've been doing that recently. I noticed that they did that with the Black Toes. Um, if you guys didn't know, the Jordan 1 Black Toes got a low-cut release recently. It wasn't very successful, I don't think, in my opinion. I mean, it probably sold out in a lot of sizes, but it wasn't very successful in my opinion because it wasn't an OG low. Um, I'll explain that in a different video about Jordan 1's lows, OGs, etc., etc. But the idea is, is that they made a Jordan 1 low Black Toe... Um, and they didn't make it like the original Lowe's back in 1985 or 1986, I think, the Jordan 1 Lowe's came out. And with this thing here, this is kind of how I feel about the Jordan 11 Low Space Jams. The Space Jams weren't traditionally Lowe's. Why make them Lowe's? When you could have made Lowe's of something that was a low originally, you know? Like, that would have been paid homage to, you know, the Lowe's that came out for the 11s. Uh, it could have looked nicer. What do I think about... Um, copying a pair of the Space Jam 11 lows. Um, I don't reckon I will. 
I don't own a pair of 11s yet. Um, I'm hoping to get a pair of the Space Jams in the foreseeable future. Uh, I've first got to pick up a pair of Bread 4s and all the, I've got like a massive list. Uh, but a Jordan, uh, uh, a pair of Jordan 11 Space Jams is on that list. I do want one eventually. Um, yeah, no, it's it kind of feels like a wasted opportunity here for Jordan Brand. I felt like they could have done a pair of Lowe's for a retro. It would have been nicer. I won't pick it up. Um, it's probably going to sell out. I'm not going to lie. Um, the Space Jam is a very iconic colorway. It's very, very popular. It's sold out every single time it retroed in the highs. I doubt it's going to change for the lows. Um, I would honestly be surprised if the Jordan 11 lows actually got stuck on shelves. I, I would be surprised. But um, we, we haven't heard much about this, honestly. It was kind of just a spur of the moment that they just announced like, Oh, on the 13th of July, the Jordan 11 Space Jam lows are coming out. And everyone was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess this is happening. So, um, yeah, I, unless they were under retail, if they were reselling on GOAT for under retail, maybe I'd pick up a pair, but I'm not going to pay retail for them. Um, if Jordan Brand sends me a pair, though, I'll wear them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I can't see myself buying a pair, unfortunately. So, yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be a miss for me on this one. But enough about me complaining about Jordan 11 lows, etc., etc., I want to hear your opinions, guys. This is what this channel is all about. It's all about me discussing it, and I want to hear what your thoughts are on it. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you going to pick up a pair of Jordan 11 Lowe's Space Jams? Do you think there was a good move by Jordan Brand to do Jordan 11 Space Jam Lowe's, or should they have done, like I was saying, retroing a pair from ages ago that hasn't had a retro in years? I know that's kind of unspecific, like, I haven't said retro this exact Jordan 11. Retro just any Jordan 11 that hasn't been retro for ages. But in saying that, like, I honestly wouldn't care what Jordan 11 low you're retroing. As long as you're doing one that's OG, um, one that hasn't been done for ages, I'm totally fine with that. And that's obviously why I'm a little bit bitter about these Space Jam lows. Like, there's no reason for it. Why is it coming out? We didn't ask for it. Nobody's asking for this. I mean, I know it's still going to sell, but like, we're not asking for this, Jordan Brand. Don't do not do this. Stop doing this. Stop. It's not too late. But, yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. But again, I want to hear your opinions, guys. Let me know in that comment section below. And I would just like to say thank you all for watching today. Uh, if you could follow all these socials in the description below, you'll get updates on when the latest videos are coming out, everything like that, etc., etc. And, of course, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.